talk Neko Williams now for the, the lengthy chat that will also go over to our, our YouTube channel. Um, Neil Critchley on, on Neko Williams' performance against Shrewsbury. There's a wider talk here, obviously. Um, Neko Williams, I just want to talk about how much he's developed this season, yeah. the fact that he came from nowhere really at the start mm -hmm. of the season. He wasn't a player that we were looking at. He wasn't a player that we were talking about. Yeah went under the radar in fact I, I remember a youth show earlier on in the season where we are talking about oh, the, the Welsh captain and how he, he is the, the Welsh under yeah. captain and what he's done to, to earn that why, why isn't it another player yeah. he's developed so much this yeah. season he has become the perfect understudy mm -hmm. to Trent Alexander-Arnold he continues to improve every single time mm -hmm. he, he plays um, and we'll talk about it in a second He's got a shout for the European yeah. Championship. He's got space. a pretty decent shout yeah. as well, yeah. Um, but first, I, I want to talk about him against Shrewsbury. I want to get some quotes from Neil Critchley. Um, he said, I thought he was incredible on the evening. He was absolutely everywhere on the pitch. He was defending, intercepting, running forward, and you'd have to say he was probably our most dangerous attacker from fullback. Mm -hmm. Neko's best quality is humility. He is, the same, he is still the same boy he was a few months ago, and he has always been the same. And I, I think that just says everything we've said the it's last all the few right weeks things, about him. Isn't it? Yeah. Exactly. I, I think he was, in, as 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 Critchley says, he was incredible mm -hmm. uh, against Shrewsbury, uh, both attacking and defensively. Yeah. He did everything that that Liverpool wanted to do going forwards. Yeah. He was absolutely everything on the pitch, uh, both in a defensive manner and an attacking yeah. manner. I think everything we created came from him. Yeah. Um, and he, he just continues to impress me. Yeah, he's. I can't think of another player who I'd rather be in the study to Trent. And I know there's a lot of good right backs out there and a lot of good young right backs, but the way he plays and the way he conducts himself both on and off the pitch, he seems like absolutely you know, tailor made yeah. to go into this Liverpool side and be that walking player where there isn't a drop off in quality. You know, we've talked about that in the past, haven't we, where players come into the first team and you can see the drop off. I don't think there'll be a considerable drop off for those sort of lower games where we might need to give Trent a rest. I think he offers almost the exact same sort of service, doesn't he? I, I love this new breed of fullback. Yeah. And Neko Williams has come mm -hmm. in. He's shown that he can do that and he can be the understudy to Trent Alexander Arnold. Yeah. It is such a complex position to play mm -hmm. on the pitch for Liverpool. It's probably the hardest, it, one it, of the hardest is. positions, it especially is. for us. Absolutely. You have to be fit. You have to be good going forward. You have to be good defensively. Yeah. And Neko Williams is showing that there's certain parts of his game that you can see need improving, mm -hmm. but he's young, he's not playing yeah. regular first team football. Yeah. And you can say so the same for come. Trent as well, can't exactly, you? you know, yeah. They're both still ridiculously when, young. When he first came in as well, mm -hmm. Trent, there were there was also these weaknesses yeah. you could see defensively. You mm -hmm. People talk about that Man United game yeah. where Rashford turned him inside out, yeah. then the week after he goes and pockets Leroy Sane in the Champions yeah. League. He, and Neko Williams is, is a similar sort of player. Mm -hmm. So I think in, in the first game against Shrewsbury, yeah. he showed that he's not too strong defensively, yeah. but he's still very, very strong. He's still a very, yeah. very good player. And we'll talk now about his European uh, yeah. Euro Championships uh, chances for, for Wales. Obviously, Ryan Giggs has spoke about him and he said that Neko has come through the Welsh system, um, but uh, it doesn't always happen. But uh, ideally, you do want him to happen. Um, we are looking at Neko because he is playing for a brilliant team at the moment and he has done really, really well when he has mm -hmm. stepped up. Ryan Giggs is worried that England is going to snap yeah. him up. We spoke about him earlier on in the season mm -hmm. saying that actually Ryan Giggs is keeping him down there because he wants him playing regularly. Yeah. He wants to be able to watch him regularly and he wants other players to learn from him. Now, I don't think Ryan Giggs probably expected him to play as much for us yeah. this season. I for think the he probably team. didn't really know who he was probably at the start of exactly. the season, did he? Not, none of us did yeah. uh, and this is the thing and I, I think he has surprised everyone mm -hmm. this season and I think Ryan Giggs would be stupid not to have mm -hmm. him in that squad in the summer yeah. personally I think obviously he is obviously inexperienced but I mean Wales need a player like him going forward a young hungry player I think there's a lot there's a good breed of players coming through for Wales too they had quite an Asian squad a couple of years ago that did quite well I think it's now shifting that and bringing through these players who know what it means to wear the badge and want to be playing for the team. Thing is, as well, Wales can be di quite direct, yeah. and he is an excellent crosser of he's the ball. Yeah, he's perfect. Um, and it it would be perfect mm -hmm. for Ryan Giggs, really. And I, I think you you brought the, um, you brought up earlier that actually uh, he's apparently going to be called up to, yeah. to their friendly he's squad. He's in contention for the March 
games as far as I've seen and I think it makes sense doesn't it really to see how he reacts even if he's not playing being in and around the squad training with the first team you know away from you know their training ground and seeing whether he is sort of out of his depth or whether he deserves to be there He's consistently making mm -hmm. at least our travelling squad as mm -hmm. well now, isn't he, for, yeah. for our first team, making the bench a lot at mm -hmm. times uh, in the Premier League. Uh, and he's a player that I'm so excited to see the future of. Yeah. Um, he's so good. And it's weird to think that we have two very, very, very good right backs. And Neko Williams is probably better than a lot of a lot of right backs in the Premier League. Yeah. And, and it's a bold statement from me, but I genuinely believe that. I think he is such a good player. Yeah. And I think there's so much more to come from Especially him. in our system too. Yeah. You know, Swan might be a good right back, but coming into our side, I think they get torn apart. They wouldn't yeah. know when to come forward, when to go back. He's already mastered our system. And it's perfect. I think it's me. not a matter of him being a system player. It's the fact that he's a very good player. Mm -hmm. He's a very adaptable player too. Yeah, and the system is perfect for him, like it is, it is for Trent Alexander-Arnold. And, and he's a player that will be interesting to follow yeah, uh, in next season as well, whether he pushes Trent for, for that spot. Yeah. I doubt it, as obviously Trent's the best right back in the world, but it'll be interesting to see, um, see what happens with that.